This was the wrecking ball of the night. Benoit Saint-Denis. He fights Thiago Moises, man, and he didn't make it really look competitive. This is a dude who we had already said. He's such a downhill fighter. You have to finish him if you want to win your fight, right? Only hiccup was against Elizu uh, Zaleski. That was upper weight class, short notice, the whole nine, right? So in this fight against Thiago Moises, what were we scared of, AJ? It was the grappling. Benoit Saint-Denis does not care about your grappling prowess, clearly, man. Talk to us about what happened. I was insane, Derek. I was so, so convinced mentally that Tiago Moises was going to be able to do some kind of damage on the ground, you know, some something. And Benoit Saint-Denis was just going mad, like an absolute rabid animal, just in there, seeing the moves before Tiago Moises was even thinking about them and able to be two steps ahead of him. And Benoit Saint-Denis was an absolute killer. And you're right, Derek, not very competitive or a very, not very a dangerous fight for um, – Tiago Moises pulling forward, but were you ever worried at all when they started brawling and uh, Benoit Saint Denis was getting checked on the chin a couple times? Because I, admittedly, I was a little concerned. I was a little happy for Moises, but it's still at that point. Even when Benoit Saint Denis was getting getting clipped on the chin, he was still standing in the pocket, firm as can be, landing vicious elbows. It was like a damn Muay Thai fight. It was very fun to watch. Were you nervous? I was nervous because there was one point, and even when I watched it back, man, I was like, he got he got clipped. And he was rocked, and you saw it for a second, right? And then he stumbled and then shot in for a takedown and then was able to get it. And I was like, if you didn't get that takedown, <laughs> we might be looking at a completely different fight. And then also, once he was putting on the barrage of shots in the second round to end it, I, I was thinking to myself, I was like, he has to get this because if he does not get this, I can completely see Moises coming in round three and just finishing the job. You know what I mean? Just because you literally exerted all your energy. That's the problem. That's the only problem that I have is such an exciting fighter, home crowd. You want to get the finish. But that was not the highest IQ fight, in my opinion, because the stakes were really high, man. This was a big win to jump him up to that next category. We talked about Moises being a gatekeeper. But if you lose the fight, that sets you back into a whole different spot, right? So I was worried about it right there, man. But do you think that this is my real question? He's on a finish streak. Is this sustainable for Saint-Denis moving forward? No, not if he fights like that going forward, man. If, if Benoit St. Denis comes in, stands toe-to-toe -to -toe in a phone booth and brawling with some of the big boys in the division, I mean, we're talking 155 right here. You're talking the Michael Chandlers, the, the Justin Gaethys, these dudes. There's even even in the top, you know, eight and above because Benoit St. Denis, you know, it's uh, it's it's – going to be very very hard for him to be able to have that kind of chaotic fight style and not go to sleep if Tiago Moises is able to catch you three four times on the chin and rock you and then you're able to you know advance admittedly good for you but these other boys they can wrestle even harder they can hit harder they there is a reason they are above in the rankings you can't brawl like that even his coaches were saying it stop brawling because that is your one downfall that we can see presented you lose your gas tank your hands go down it does pose a big uh, deficit in his game. But I do think because of the French fans and he was fighting in France and he was, you know, you're amped up. You want to get the uh, you want to get the finish in the hometown. I do. I do think we won't see that kind of crazy chaotic style from Benoit St. Denis. But at the same point, this guy's a finisher he on a finishing streak. Do you see him really learning from this lesson, Derek, or is it a uh, finish show all day long for St. Denis? finish show all day long for Saint Denis, man. You could see, you could see it, man. The way that he sticks his arms out like a gladiator and just embraces the energy. It's like it almost feels like this is a dude who just lives for that thrill, and you're gonna continue to get it. That's why guys can't retire because they want the thrill. They want that ego hit right there, that little dopamine hit, major dopamine hit. But listen, I will say this, man. If if Saint Denis keeps coming out like this and guys cannot get going because they're just getting such a clinic put on them why stop i mean until it until it goes wrong why stop huge win for the god of war benoit saint denis